Can I just welcome everyone here? I think about two things you've seen sums up possibly where St Bede's Rugby is at and where we are at the moment as a school. The first thing is uh, the boys were asked to move and they moved and they did it uh, with a smile on their face hopefully because no one really wants to be sitting down there on the floor so I appreciate that, that's the first thing and the second thing is the amazing turnout. Now we've shifted venues a couple of times because at the moment you could probably describe the school as being on steroids. There is so much happening. The parents, the year eight parents came in on Thursday night. Yesterday, and on the same night, we had the hockey uh, prize giving, the football prize giving. Yesterday, we had another 165 boys at the school who were wandering around doing their testing. We had parents on tours. I know that today is a test day. For those of you who are into Bathurst, that's starting as well. Canterbury are playing and we're in here, so I really appreciate it. So it's a pretty simple sort of thing. The way in which I just want to make a few remarks and then we'll ask the coaches to come up and speak about their team and how it went and present the trophies. The ones on the far end are the first 15 trophies and they have been presented already, but there are um, upstands for, that, for those boys to get. And these ones here are the trophies for all of uh, all the other teams. And I just say that we've started, we started this year with a great deal of optimism. We finished it with even more optimism and positivity, despite the fact that right in the middle of it, our season was shut down. Right in the middle of it, parents had to apply to come and watch our teams play. I have to say, the Christchurch Boys High game, which usually attracts, the first 15 game usually attracts around about 3,000 people to have just the two teams and I would say probably no spectators at all and the ref, it was the quietest experience I've ever had and for me one of the, I'd have to say it was unusual but there was just no stress. No one was yelling at the ref, no one was yelling at any kids. Amazingly the boys just got on and played, the ref did his job and we finished there. But We've had an unusual season and the Canterbury Rugby Union, in its wisdom, decided, unlike a lot of other places in, in New Zealand, to go straight ahead and get a whole season in. And we did. So effectively, we started, we had a lot of boys who prepared and started preparing for the season in October the year before. They were all ready to go in March. It gets taken off them. They sit there and wonder, will I get any rugby? And then we started at about midway through June. And we've had a highly successful year. In fact, sport in the school is on a high. Our basketball team uh, qualified for the Nationals for the first time in 10 years. Our football team made its final. The hockey team uh, did particularly well and made a final. And we had nine rugby teams that made finals of various sorts. The first 15 for the third year in a row made the top four, which is always a really good indicator of where we're at. But most importantly, throughout every grade, we had teams that were performing. And the beauty of the competition and the beauty of weighted grades is that somewhere along the way now, there's somewhere for everybody to play. And that was the best thing. In the short space of time, we've developed a real depth in the school. We're really excited about what the future holds. Uh, we are blessed with a really forward-thinking committee who are prepared to back up their talk by raising money, and a great deal of sponsorship money was raised this year, but they're also prepared to spend it on a whole range of things. For those of your sons who were involved in strength and conditioning and the opportunities next year to be able to do those, that all comes from the drive of that uh, committee. Equally, there have been opportunities for halfbacks, for front row forwards, for line out forwards, for all sorts of different positions, specific coaching for them. And that in part is not driven, it's driven, I suppose, by the grunt of the committee, but a big part of the thanks for that has to go to Mark Ely, who not only drive, drives that and has the vision for those things, but he is prepared to communicate, and most of you will have been communicated well with him, 
the number of photos that appear after every game, trainings and things, the Facebook page, that is all down to him. And it's taken, I suppose, things that we used to take for granted, we now find that we are leading the way. So I'd like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the great work that Mark has done because it takes him a huge amount of time, but we really are in the position where we are in a great part because of his work. So well done, Mark. <laughs> I've mentioned the committee, the sponsorship committee, Leanne Wright, um, the work of Ed Sparrow as chairman, but all the committee, and remember parents, it's an open committee. Anybody and everybody can go there. So for all the drive on that committee, the work of Mark and Rob Ellison, the work of our secretary, Rob DeRue, um, and, any, and, and a number of other people who keep all those things going, we greatly appre appreciate that. As far as our season goes, as I said, we made a number of finals and we won a number of finals. Um, but more importantly, I think some really interesting things happened. The second 15, which had had, a, by their own admission, a pretty average year the year before, came through to the final unbeaten and played some great rugby. The third 15, almost given up on by many in the final, came out and won their final. The 16 A's were undefeated. The 16 B's turned around a number of early season losses and went on a great tear and only lost virtually their final in the last minute. The under 15s teams all were competitive, the 15 A's in particular, in probably what was the most probably strongly contested grade, I thought, because there were so many good teams in that grade, they were never ever out of any game. And then we had the underweight teams and most importantly we then had the under 14s who went through and produced some really good results. So overall, when we look at that, it's a really pleasing year. Next year, we look forward to going even further ahead. As I said, there are opportunities already for those of you who have sons who are in that age group where strength and conditioning, weights are good for them, and their bodies are ready to be able to take full advantage of that. There's been lots of offers in the Facebook pages and things. Please make sure that you sign up for those. Also, sign up for all the other opportunities that are available. The fact that, boys, at the moment, you're getting more opportunities, perhaps, than any other school I would, I would put in the country. And that is being shown in the results. Also, I want to just acknowledge uh, the first 15, who during the season took the Trust Bank Cup. Unfortunately, with the Trust Bank Cup, it's one of those things that doesn't get a lot of... Um, I suppose, notification or people knowing much about it. It is the Ranfurly Shield of South Island Rugby. We hadn't had it since 2012. Our boys won it against um, Nelson and defended it three times before Christchurch boys took it off us. But the reality is that trophy is an important thing and it was great to see it back. And let's hope that we see a continuation of that as well. So all in all, a great season. Uh, a lot of thanks to the coaches, uh, and we have some amazing school co uh, schoolboy coaches. We have some incredible parents who give up their time not only to coach and manage. The staff, I'd like to say that my understanding is that at Boys High, Christchurch Boys High, uh, they have seven staff involved with rugby. At this school, we had 16, and they are a far bigger school than us. So not only are the parents backing rugby, the staff are backing it, and most importantly, the boys are backing it as well. We continue to be, have the second largest number of rugby players in Christchurch, and that is important, and it's growing. We're adding teams, and so for us, where rugby in the country, to be really honest, is at, uh, I suppose, a flashpoint, if you like. There is, it's going to go one way for some schools and one way for the others. We are in a particularly good position. So once again, I want to thank you all for being here um, and we'll get through. The first thing I do want to do is uh, I'm just going to take things slightly out of order um, because my understanding is we have somebody, I don't want to make too much of a big deal about it, but he's going to the test in Auckland. So uh, 